up, Jewel Gang? Happy Monday afternoon. Well, it's 11 o'clock. And I'm working. What did I come over here for? Why did I come over here? I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about it when I go back over here. But I'm working. Yeah, it's a gloomy, cloudy day out here. The sun decided not to make an appearance in sunny Southern California. Is it raining? Oh, no, it's not raining. But look how gloomy it is. Yup. No Sunday day or tomorrow. I think it's gonna rain tomorrow too. Sometimes when I'm working, I'll drift off into La La Land, which means TikTok or YouTube. And I came across this video on YouTube about this young lady, she's pregnant and she's holding a baby and she's telling this guy that she finessed him. She had him thinking that the baby that she's holding was his and it's really not the baby's, the father to that child is in jail. And now she's pregnant, but she's pregnant by the guy that she tricked. And now she's saying, oh, I finessed you. Soon as this baby born, I'm gonna put you on child support. Y'all listen to this video, this is ridiculous. Y'all, this is ridiculous. And this is on a Reactors channel that I'm subscribed to. Um, I watched some of his videos because he has some thought-provoking, interesting videos. So, I, this one caught my attention because, you know, I got signs. Look at this. Y'all listen to this, listen to this mess. And not only am I gonna put you on child support, but bitch, guess what? I may not, I was taking care of the baby that I'm pregnant with too. Cause you got me up. Damn. I show you what the fuck a finesse is. I was never faithful to you. Never. Never. Them, them night, them all that crying, bitch, I got nigga. I got nigga. I got nigga. That's what you gotta realize. I got. Bitch, not only did I finish you, I trapped you. I trapped you. Y'all hear that? She's saying, I trapped you. But this is the crazy part about this whole thing. Hold on. This is the crazy about, part about this whole thing. She on video recording herself. Sometimes you, these young girls can be their own worst enemy. She is on video exposing her intent. See, if she had any sense about her, she would know that video could be taken to court and used against her. But of course, she don't have any sense about her. That's why she on video acting like that. But let's finish watching this reactor, react to this video. Man, she saying, man, she on some other shit that'll get you killed, man. Hold on, let me, let me skip past this part, y'all. Let me skip past this part. It is. You know let me skip past this part. And not only that, after the little situation happened, guess what? You were still here. You were still here. You were still here. Mind you, she pregnant now. She pregnant. Now I don't get no more. Now you gonna hate me now. Now you gonna hate me. Now you gonna hate me. You wanna do all that play now. You wanna do all that play now, but not you. Since you wanna be nasty. Since you wanna be my she already showing him the definition of a nasty baby mama this this let me tell you something this is truly low vibrational y'all gotta be careful who y'all have babies by guys come on i'm a mother of three sons and all three of my sons have legal custody of their children legal rights and legal custody of their children because of women that conduct themselves like this because that's what they do they want to they want to make you pay the price because they don't you don't want to be with them no more so now they're going to make you pay through their kids no that's called parent alienation you can't do that not only that let me tell you something in this short clip i've heard this girl say three things that could be used against her in court she was never faithful and she trapped them. And then she lied about who the child was. All that can is gonna play against her. If he was smart enough to take this stuff to court. A lot of young men don't know to go to court to file for legal rights for their children. So they leave it in the hands of 
Women like this. Who use their children as pawns. To play get back. This this is ridiculous. She said some other things. And I'm not going to continue with the video. She said some other things. But I I, I wish I was that boy's auntie. Because um, that young lady standing up there bragging about how she cheated. She was never faithful. She trapped him in there thinking that that baby was his. And now she is really pregnant with his baby. That I would make that girl. She, be, she regret the day she filmed that video. Because if she don't have any common sense. She would gain some sense of cause and effect. Because right now, she don't have a sense of cause and effect. If I was his aunt, I'd be like, no, we're going down to family court. You're going to file for legal rights to that baby as soon as that baby is born. She on video saying it's his baby, so he, don't have to file, he doesn't have to sign the birth certificate. And that's where a lot of people get it twisted. They think, oh, you have to, file a, you have to sign the birth certificate. Um, if you don't sign a birth certificate, technically you're not named the father. No, once the mother names you as a father, you are named as the, as the father. You just don't have legal rights. You have to go to the court, family court and petition the court for legal rights to your child. And that would eliminate all that behavior. And it's easy. I know people think you need lawyers, but you really don't. Each one of my kids, my sons, the, old, the oldest one and the youngest one have 50-50 custody. Because of stuff I did in the courts. I went to court and would go to the self-service and just talk to them. I wouldn't ask for legal advice because you can't ask for legal advice. They'll say, I cannot legally give you advice. I cannot give you advice on what you should do. What you do is say, I need to start the paperwork for this. And they'll hand you the paperwork. Then you say, well, I need to um, do the paperwork to follow up with this. And then they'll hand you the paperwork. They're not giving you legal advice. They're just giving you the paperwork you need through that. That's when you get the understanding of how to navigate the court system. That's how I did it. With my, with my middle son, his mother was acting just like that. She was filing um, false restraining orders and doing the most. And I said, well, let me, let's go through the court system. Get your rights. Because she's doing too much. And as y'all can see, my granddaughter is here. Because she really wasn't going to let my granddaughter see her father unless he was with her and he she said to me we are a package deal i said no you're not yes we are i said no you're not the judge will let you know that she said you'll find out i said no you will find out meanwhile meanwhile when my granddaughter was three months this girl was already pregnant this girl has another baby when the First restraining order that she filed was dismissed. She was already trying to sleep with my son. And my son was like, Ma, she keep trying to get me to sleep with her. I said, she up to something, don't do it. She up to something, don't do it. My son would have had a junior if he would have found, if he would have had a weak moment that was not his. I promise you, I know it. But what she don't know is would a mother like me, I would have been like, no, get a DNA test. And this is another indication if a child is yours. Guys. Ask for a DNA test. Ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with making sure, especially when you're not in a committed relationship or you just got into a relationship and then find out immediately she right immediately she's pregnant. Get a DNA test. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, you may not have to get a DNA test based on her reaction. If you ask for a DNA test and the woman flips out, nine times out of ten the DNA test don't come back. It ain't yours. If a woman say, you know what, I don't care, go ahead and get the DNA test. One of two things. She know it's yours, or she know it's eventually it's going to be found out that it's not yours. So, she like, why well, go against the process? Because it is what it is. But just to be safe, whether it's sorry, if you're not sure, get sure. Because then you won't have to deal with a woman like this. Pretending that some baby is yours, knowing it's not. Yeah, that, that, that whole thing was a mess, y'all. That whole thing was a mess. If that young man was my son or my nephew, she's standing on live doing all of that, that video would be in the courtroom. Not only would it be in the courtroom, by the time I finish, he would have 50-50 custody and she wouldn't be able to get a dime. And then, because of the way she's choosing to act, react and behave, Eventually, I would have showed them how to get full custody. And then she would have been paying child support. These women think it's a joke out here. 
These women think it's a joke out here. Some of these dudes out here got mothers and aunts and sisters that care. That know how to, scared to go to court and figure out how to navigate that system. They, they, they know how to research some stuff. Because everything that you need to know is on the web. Everything you need to know. A lot of times I was downloading this stuff and printing it out here. The paperwork we need to file a court. You don't need an attorney. An attorney is helpful because they know step by step. When you do it yourself, it is a long drawn out process. Because sometimes you may submit something wrong and the judge is going to reject it. Judge can't tell you you did something wrong. They just got to reject it. In that rejection, then you take that document to self-serve and say, hey, this was submitted evidently incorrectly. I need another form so I can submit it correctly. They're not giving you a legal advice. They're telling you, yeah, that you should have did this one before this one. So there's a way, there is a way to get the information that you need to know. You just got to start the process. You just got to be willing to start the process. My sons, I don't know for what reason. One of them have a baby mama just like that girl I just showed y'all. Just like her. The youngest, my youngest granddaughter, her mother would have been her. Would have been her. When he came to me, he was like, Ma, I've never been through this. Can you please help me? I got you. Started submitting stuff right away. She was like, who helping you do this? Don't worry about it. He got a secret weapon, honey. I've been through family court on the East and the West Coast. And what I've discovered is the court system, as far as family court, is a court system. It's pretty much consistent, no matter where you go. The only thing that can sway that is if somebody has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money and they can show that they can provide better for the child than you can. Then it's going to be an uphill battle. Or if the child is not in the same state as you. And y'all remember when I used to, for those of you who've been here with me, y'all remember when I used to do the commentary on Nina Unrated when she was talking about her child who was in Arizona, with Nevada. Her little boy's in Nevada and she was in Florida and she kept saying, I'm going to get my son. And I was like, no, she's not. No, she not. That is uphill battle if the child resides in a different state. But yeah, I used to do commentary on Nina on the radio with her son. And a lot of stuff that she was saying, I was like, that's not true. Been through that, done that. That's not true. Because what happens is if the child resides in the state six months, that becomes that child's residing um, state. And they have primary, they have jurisdiction over the custody of that child, that state. So let's say Nina would have went, oh, let's say the child is in another state and then the parent is in another state and the parent goes and takes the child out of the state and takes the child to the state that they live in. That court can say you need to bring that child back and you have this much time to bring it back. We did it. So that's how I know when I was doing commentary on Nina, she wasn't going to get that child in Florida, especially behind the reason that that child was residing with his father now. And see, I think that's what a lot of people was forgetting. The reason, the cause and effect that caused the child to live with his, with his father. Anyway, off of Nina. But this young lady, this young lady is a recluse. She don't have no self-awareness. And people who conduct themselves like that with their lives will not care how they affect yours. And that's what I tell my son. Somebody who's reckless with their life will come in and wreck yours. And won't care. Anyway, um, I'm going to end this here. I will talk to you guys later. Till next time, we're keeping up with Daz. Y'all know what I always say. You are uniquely made and made on purpose. I will talk to you guys later. One word of caution to these young fathers out there who are getting these women pregnant. Do your due diligence and use the court system. I know... A lot of our young men don't like the court system, but it can be your friend in situations like that. That child is going to be raised by that mother who conducts herself like that. What do you think they're going to teach your child? That's point blank in the period. Talk to you guys later. Bye.